Hi everyone, my video today is not necessarily for XJWs or for my regular subscribers. My video today is aimed as its target audience, um, the elders in the congregations of Jehovah's Witnesses and Watchtower. The reason being is that certain events have rolled out, rolled out at home in the past couple of weeks that have shown me conclusively that the elders and quite possibly Watchtower um, are watching my videos. So I'm going to take this opportunity to speak to you guys directly. Um, I am absolutely disgusted that you walk around with your heads up um, like you are persons representing God in the local communities when you carry out your executions of people which you would call Jehovah's righteous judicial decisions you carry out executions of people and um, the effect that you have, the decisions that you make over another person's life absolutely destroys people and uh, you disgust me and I hope your consciences burn you and I hope you can't sleep at night. Um, in fact, um, an elder, when I was when I was, uh, I'd stopped going to the meetings and stopped going to the ministry. So obviously I had this steady stream of people coming to try and snatch me out of the fire. And um, one of the elders came round and uh, he probably was quite unwise to tell me this. But he was an elder that sat on my daughter's judicial um, committee um, who ultimately uh, disfellowshipped her. And um, he decided to confide in me that it plagued him when he uh, put forward to disfellowship my daughter because she was crying out for help and they still decided to disfellowship. And this was, um, it was almost four years ago, or it might be over four years now, but this obviously plagued him and uh, he felt the need to unburden himself to me. Now what this has done for me has basically just spurred me on even more in my activism work. Years ago in my previous con congregation I had a conversation with an elder who reassured me that when it comes to judicial um, committee arrangements the elders will always err on the side of mercy so wherever possible they will show mercy to a person who has become um, engaged in sin or, or fallen on the wrong path or whatever they'll always err on the side of mercy and I carried this round with me um, for all the years that I was in Watchtower that these elders are trying to show mercy at all times and it would only be in, in an extreme case of a person manifesting real unrepentance that they will be disfellowshipped from the congregation. But I've come to see that that's just not true. Now, I had lunch um, one day this week with an ex-sister who was disfellowshipped over 10 years ago. And um, she was disfellowshipped at a time when she had a dependent small child she had no home she had a i think she had a job but not enough to cover her living expenses she was pregnant with another child and she didn't speak hardly any english and you took the decision to disfellowship her and while you went on your merry way after making this decision and you were busy out in the ministry counting your hours choosing your illustrations for your public talk you know basking in your in your privilege of being one of uh, one of the uh, elders serving on a body with everybody's you know respect and admiration while you were while you were carrying on your life 
this person had times when they didn't eat and they didn't have enough money and they had children to look after and we all shunned her and we all went on with our lives and um, I'm, as, I'm as guilty as the next person of it um, I didn't give it a second thought at the time I didn't I didn't really give myself the time to ponder the consequence of a person being disfellowshipped but I've had plenty of time to think these things through now and also obviously my own daughter eventually was disfellowshipped and um, I came to see that this thing about erring on the side of mercy was just a load of rubbish. They disfellowship according to the rules and regulations in their Shepherd the Flock of God book, which is a book of man-made doctrines um, provided by the governing body um, of Jehovah's Witnesses and uh, if a person's responses are not what this book um, lays out for the elders to hear then they will basically execute a person now is it really as severe as saying execute a person yes because more often than not when a person gets disfellowship they're at their lowest point and um, they're going to face being cut off from the only social network they've ever had they're going to face being possibly cut off from their employment and even more than that they're going to face being cut off from their family all these things happening at the same time um, along with the the trauma that you would bear from the the shunning and the fact that you are basically by yourself there is nobody there for you is it any wonder that so many of these ones contemplate and some even carry out suicide? So what do I think about these men that serve on judicial committees? Well, I'm disgusted by you. You might feel that... Um, so one of the elders once said to me it's like we have to be like Phineas and, and be bold to carry out these judicial decisions because we've got to keep the congregation clean so they take a pride in what they do and uh, they feel like they're, they're carrying out some righteous judgement but they're just destroying people and they're destroying families um, and I'm going to highlight it to the best of my ability because it's absolutely evil. It's not in the slightest scriptural. The command in the Bible to uh, stop mixing in company is basically talking about the people that you choose to hang out with. It's not talking about shutting off all contact, all communication, uh, looking past the person like they don't exist or they're dead. It's not talking about that. Jesus didn't do that. And um, I hope that you wake up to the evil policies that you are carrying out, that you are promoting and um, yeah I know that it's the organisation ultimately that is to blame and it's the policies but the elders carry this stuff out and they've got their elders book where they can blatantly see 
that these things are not scriptural. They have got access to information that the rest of the congregation don't. And um, yeah, they're the company men that are carrying these things out. So yeah, I personally hold them responsible. And I personally will do my utmost to expose what is going on. And um, you might feel that I'm insignificant and uh, I'm a nobody, but I'm actually uh, seeing results from the activism that I'm doing and uh, it's just spurring me on to do more and more so yeah you guys absolutely disgust me i hope you don't sleep at night i hope your consciences burn you um i hope you can't just forget about these people that you have basically executed and um yeah that's my message really it's just quite simple i hate your organization i hate your policies um, you are not Christians and uh, I am determined to do what I can to expose you. Anyway, send my love to everybody and um, I hope to see you all again soon. Bye.